Def Jam's sophomore signing was a trio of Jewish punk rockers from New York. In just a few months, hit singles from LL and the Beasties brought Def Jam's street credibility barreling into the boardroom. Then Sony's subsidiary, Columbia Records, saw gold. Over the years, this hip-hop empire has gone through several changing of the guards. The label and its artists have evolved, and nowhere is that clearer than with the Beastie Boys. There's something I really want to talk about tonight, while I have the time. I think we can talk to the promoters, make sure that they're doing something about the safety of all the girls and the women that come to our shows. Make sure they know and understand about sexual harassment. I see the BC boys probably forgot about their whole history. Our number one band will have an inflatable phallus that will rise at the end of each show. I believe it was Adam Yauch's idea, although I'm not sure. The penis was just like the... <laughs> that stage prop. I, I don't like using the word penis. There was a discussion about it spurting, but it, we didn't, it didn't spurt. We were too broke at the time to have things come out of the, the prop. Parents was actually like hiding their kids because they thought they were a nice pop group. They didn't understand the mindset of the Beastie Boys. The more parents upset, the more we felt that we um, were barking up the right tree.